Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Rapid Bucharest against Borussia Dortmund. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Rafael Guerrero starts with Thomas Meunier as fullbacks. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. An interesting match stands ahead of us. Dortmund kick off. Good technique displayed. Pretty simple for the keeper. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, three goals in the last three games. He's in great form at the moment. He's playing with confidence as well. Every chance he could add to that tally today. Brandt. And well, he was in the right place to intercept. And beating the defender but a good piece of tidying up. And he keeps going. Oh, and current converts! possession first chan Yusufa Mukoko he takes aim easy save Went in strongly, decisively. And Borussia Dortmund in a position of menace. And he's in. And he couldn't bag the first goal of the contest. Well, I can't believe he's missed the target there. That's a poor finish. And Dortmund recovering possession well. Well, there you have it. The away team have had so much of the possession. But unless they find some inspiration from somewhere, I'm not sure where the winner will come from. They certainly need to up the tempo. And this is Royce. 
has a go. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Brandt. Zali Özcan with it. Mukoko. So the whistle then, we're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, Julian Brandt just hasn't been able to find his rhythm at all, and we don't often say that about him. Yeah, he's looked off the pace today. He just hasn't been himself, has he? And as a result, the team have looked short on creativity. It's been a disappointing performance. And the match begins... And he keeps going. Oh, and couldn't convert. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. And he's broken free. Pivotal moment defensively. He's in with a chance. And the flag has been raised here. Well, there can't have been a lot in that. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Brandt. It's a good Dortmund move in the making. And Bellingham. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And delivered by Rafael Guerrero. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Well, that was quality. Last ditch defending. And giving it away. No way through. And a fine stop. Well, there it is. I'm not sure what all the fuss was about. It wasn't even close in the end. Guerrero at the corner. Still trying to make something happen. And he read it really well. Fine save. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready. And now they will make the personnel change. Fired over by Guerrero. Clattered away. As you can see, Dortmund have controlled the possession in the last 15 minutes and have looked great going forward. They just need to take one of the chances they've created to get themselves ahead today. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, he's given it away. Plenty of options.
It is a decent looking attack here. Got to it easily, the keeper. Can he finish? A gift for any goalkeeper. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, it fizzled out. It's come down to the final five minutes and still they're deadlocked at nil-nil. Well, he's lost the ball. The possession game just not working properly today. And the pass, a good one. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. Space on the flank. Running with the ball confidently. Body in the way. And there's the referee's whistle. These two sides cannot be separated. So away they go again, the first period of extra time, and it's legitimate to ask to what extent mental strength will come into this. Looking forward to it. Really getting stuck in. Making progress is Royce, and options around him. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. Well, not out of the woods just yet. This still could be dangerous. But he can't keep that effort on target, and a goal kick it'll be. Going well. Oh, he's through here. He had to react and did. There will be one minute added on at the end. It's got to be. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. And Bellingham. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Still trying to make something happen. And he read it really well. Fine save. Well, not out of the woods just yet. This still could be dangerous. But he can't keep that effort on target. And a goal kick it'll be.
And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Brandt. And Dortmund committed to getting forward. Can they grab a late winner? We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? He landed really heavily on his shoulder there. You can see the discomfort he's in. But he's a tough guy. I think he'll carry on. Cheers, Jeff. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And he cuts in from the wing. And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil-nil. There it is. They're in front. Well, here it is again. And credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. And in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Yes, Derek, it was a tight game between two very good sides, but they lost concentration late on, and it's cost them dearly. They'll need to get over that quickly. And Bellingham. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Still trying to make something happen. And he read it really well. Fine save. Well, not out of the woods just yet. This still could be dangerous. But he can't keep that effort on target. And a goal kick it'll be. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. And he cuts in from the wing. And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil-nil, there it is, they're in front.